Mm-hmm. So that they can enjoy their show. What was I saying? Before I was rudely interrupted. Okay. So I'm still talking about love. Yes. How we are going for counseling. Yes. And you can see how we need it. If you know me, we really need it. We need like to go for counseling every morning before I leave home. Yeah. We, we. Yes. Wow. Yeah. When was Valentine's? Because if you're still wearing red and black, and we are in what, September, you are really in love. <laughs> yeah, you're really in love. <laughs> I'm telling you. So we've been going for counseling, and they've been, you know, because I've been married for, no, 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 baby, hey, please. It's not one year, it's three years. It's three years, I'm making three years. And there are no results yet. Ah, eh? It's okay for you. Mama. You know how you in-laws are. After paying you one dollar and there are no results. I am under pressure to multiply. You see how the laughter has reduced? Most of you know what I'm talking about. If you're not the mother who is stressing your daughter in law, then you're the daughter that they are stressing. Or oh, you're the man who is also doubting yourself whether you're the one who is not performing. So <laughs> there's pressure all over the place. Sometimes I need to share these things because I feel like I have a personal relationship with all my ninjas. Like at some point, I pray. I just pray that maybe at some point when you actually kneel down to pray, you pray for me. You know, you just say, oh, you see that girl who makes me laugh God. But that's her. What can we do? You know, just as a by the way. So I need to share these things so that you know what's going on. What's this? I like it. I really like it. Yeah. <laughs> so you need that to match with the carpet, the red carpet. Wow. <laughs> ah, uh, uh. Yeah, I happy to see you also. Yeah. So yes, I'm trying to get pregnant. I'm not failing. I'm, f- I'm not failing. God is just, he just knows that this world is not ready for my child yet. <laughs> because you're still dealing with having me here. I think he wonders, my goodness, what kind of parent will she be? How will the child be? God is like, you know what, be patient. Eh? Let us first change the government in Uganda. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> You know, let me first prepare this world for what is about to come. So I think it's because he knows my child is going to be one great person. So he's just paving way. He's just paving way. But regardless, I'm still dealing with, you know, sangers, you know, like sisters to your mother or sisters to your father, how they feel like they understand everything about pregnancy in and out like they know even those who don't have children want to advise you on how to get children and they have these ridiculous ideas no concoctions i'm telling you they'll tell you to do things that even they can never do in the wildest dreams and they want you to pay attention and acknowledge them every now, every chance you get. There's one auntie of mine, she's called Auntie Mabel. I loved her till recently. <laughs> no, seriously, I've always been close to her. But this particular time, I don't, no, 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 no. I do not agree with the things she's telling me to do. She told me, <laughs> she gave me five leaves of, of the guava tree, the, the leaves. And... First of all, when you give me leaves, I'm only imagining you're giving me a new recipe for some soup. You know, so that I, you know, make better soup for my husband and he comes home and we are happy. No, 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 that's not it. She told me to put five leaves in my right cheek. Look at my mouth. Five leaves? Will I still talk? But she wanted five leaves in my right cheek and warm water with rock salt in the left cheek. I want us to imagine it. Imagine you have five leaves here and you have warm water and they are not supposed to mix. (laughs) 
and that is not the ridiculous part. I was supposed to whistle three times. <laughs> First of all, without the leaves, I still can't whistle. But you're telling me to put leaves, put water, and whistle three times. And do those things when Mr. Ojok is around in the evening and he's taking tea. So me, I go outside. Yeah? And begin whistling like that. And I run around the house three times. Yeah, I know. You see what you're feeling? Eh? Me was feeling it times two. And you run around the house singing, or joke you are joking, or joke you are joking, or joke you are joking, chanting. If I were a joke and I catch you doing that, that's it. Even if it's not him, the neighbors could have seen me, but that's what I am going through right now, just so I produce results. And that's just one of the many examples. You have friends who are single, you have those who are married, They've given birth, but they don't even know how to look after their children. But they still want to tell you how to get... As in, it's, it's too much. And you really are about to make enemies because you can't take it. You don't want to receive any more advice. Because my husband, of course, is taking the liberty to also do his own research. <laughs> Meaning, I get advice, and he gets advice. We do not compare notes. We just meet in the bedroom. <laughs> so imagine the conflict. He's being told something different, I'm being told something different. Before you know it, we are like beads that have tangled. We cannot entangle ourselves. Because he's doing what he had, I'm doing what I had, and there is confusion. <laughs> eh? No, at this rate, we are considering probably going under the bed. Maybe that's where the mojo is. <laughs> it's too much. There's so much pressure in my marriage. I wish myself luck. I'm telling you, I, I know, I know, but I know. Ash. If I can sell out five shows in Canada when I've never met anyone, God will do fantastic things for me. <laughs> I'm telling you. And I send greetings from my mother. She, that's why when I see you, and then you go, I see you and I am seeing my, my mom. She's the most prayerful human being I've ever met. She prays all, she even prayed for you, believe me, you, because every time I'm traveling, no, 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 please. I tell her I'm going to Canada, she's like, oh my goodness. So you have friends in Canada? <laughs> I'm like, yes, mommy, eh, hey, me, I have friends all over the world. Oh my God, God bless you. Yeah, I'm going to pray. You are going to get there, they are going to come, they are going to love you. Again, just to know I am kneeling and praying for them. So when I say she's prayed for you, it's the truth. <coughs> Though I remember, the re <laughs> I was going to South Africa this other time when they had that xenophobia. And I think it's the first time my mother was not in agreement. <laughs> and for reasons that have nothing to do with what you're thinking. Because in her head, the, the newspapers were saying xenophobia is is killing many people in South Africa. So in her head, it has to have been a virus or like something. So when I called and said, Mommy, I'm going on tour in South Africa, she's like, mm, mm, when I hear, ah, now, okay, I know you want to make money, but must you? I'm like, hey, Mommy. South Africans also want to laugh, hello? They also need to relieve their stress. And this is the right time to actually go there and make them laugh. He's like, I'm not refusing. So what have you packed? I'm like, the usual stuff. He's like, no, no, no. Did, did, okay, <laughs> now, you see, clearly, this is my manager, Mr. Johnson Mujungu. <laughs> and do not be mistaken, he has not come to bring me a bottle. <laughs> yeah, fantastic, yes. He has come so that I tell you that he's my manager. <laughs> it's not because I, he knows I'm thirsty. These people all about promotion <laughs> but he's done a really good job he's the ceo of grejo entertainment he's for 10 years now but you people knew me three years ago and i met him three years ago so that goes to show you what it is he's doing in my life so i'm, I'm glad god managed to use him because i don't want us to give him credit i'm glad god managed to use him and He's an amazing guy. He's amazing. Very amazing. So thank you very much for bringing me the water that you know I'm not going to drink. 
But then anyway, I can start introduced you. What more do you want? Hey, and they usually pay after the show, so this is, a, is mandatory. I have to introduce him. I have to. So, yes, I was going, and then she told me, what have you packed? Um, I said, usual stuff, clothes, change of clothes in the case. No, have you packed a mosquito net, maybe Odomos? Odomos is that mosquito spray. Because in her head, I was going to go and catch xenophobia and bring it back to Uganda. So when I tell you she prays, it does not matter. As long as it registers in her head that she has to pray for you, that's all she needs. She will pray for you whether you want it or not. Let me tell you how it is when she's... <laughs> ah, my mom. She's my hero, by the way, because growing up, I never, never saw my mother lose an argument. <laughs> so those things you see me do in my clips, no other motivation. Even when I feel I'm drying out, I just go to the village, spend there a week or two. I come when I am rejuvenated. <laughs> ah, my mom. So when it's time to pray at home, you know our peasant homes. Okay, I didn't grow up in, I don't want to say I grew up in a poor family. You know, when you didn't sleep hungry, then you were the richest African family. We didn't sleep hungry. Yeah, but we also never had leftovers. So whatever was there was eaten completely and also you wake up and yeah, struggle for the next day. So <laughs> you know those peasant homes, they have that dining, then there's that small table with, surrounded by sofa sets. You call them couches here, but we call them sofa sets at home. So surrounded by sofa sets. So when it was time to pray, we'd carry the small table. Johnson, yeah, there's noise in your part of the audience. So when it was time to pray, we'd carry the small table and put it on the big table, the big dining table, push the sofa sets on the wall and create a stadium for my mother to pray. And you wonder, what kind of prayer is this? Why does she need that much space? But believe me, you need to close your eyes. If my mother is praying and you open your eyes, you won't pray. <laughs> you, need, you close for your own sake. So that you can pray. <laughs> because she will stand and then, you know, push everything. We used to have those carpet, those plastic carpets, you know them. And then you remove them because you don't know what might happen. So she's on the ground every night, ready to pray. And my God, you want to hear that prayer. Because it sounds like she knows God is seated here and they're just going to have a conversation. She's like, Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you very much for a beautiful day. Eh? We woke up, we ate breakfast tea, we ate lunch, we have eaten supper. Who are we to complain? Who are we? Hmm? Thank you very much. Eh? We have neighbors. You know, they chased James's daughter for school fees. But for me, my children are studying God. Eh? What can I ever do for you? Tell me. As in, they talk as if He's here and she's here. Eh? So, you're, like she's waiting for God to say, yes, I know, I know. He's like, what can I ever do for you? What? Tell me. What is it that you want from me? Eh? Because you can imagine my own daughter that I gave birth to can't see. She has been crying in aeroplane Z. She has gone to places. What can I ever give you, God? Tell me. Tell me. As in, for her, that's... She, then she continued, now, let it be a day when she had a problem. <laughs> That's when you know her and God are equals. <laughs> because they tussle it out till she understands why things went wrong. She's like, oh, so Father, thank you very much. But I was wondering, at what point? Hmm? I really need to know if Daughter, who talks to you every day? Can, how, how, how does it happen? How does my husband get a motorcycle accident? What had happened? What is wrong? As in, it's like she needs an explanation from God. As in, really? I worship you and this is what happens? So, I, I am sure, I don't think, I am sure I am everything I am because my mother prays for me. And and if you are a mother here and you do not work for your children, the wood, the firewood that is going to burn you in hell is still doing press ups. 
If you are not praying for your children, you are to blame for everything they go through. No, no, no. Men can get away with it. A mother who does not pray for their children. Shame on you.